It was several hours later that the LNN railroad sent a relief train. Well, the, guy, the engineer of this particular train, which was loaded with supplies and more, more people, uh, he was told, watch for a flagman that will flag you down when it's time, when you breach this spot. Well, he's racing, obviously, as quickly as he can to get there, and there's no flagman. He rounds a corner, and this is another train, and sees the first relief train sitting there. Oh, boy. He tries to stop and is not able to, and he crashes into the back of the other relief train. Uh, but luckily, they were able to stop both trains uh, about 50 feet from the edge, which is not far, <laughs> if you think about it. Yep. Uh, but in this crash, um, two people were critically injured, and one died on the way to the hospital. The big question now was, what happened? Could this have been prevented? The newspapers reported that one of the survivors mentioned seeing several men among the wreckage uh, searching for something okay. um, and ignoring the cries of the wounded and uh, trapped okay. people. Um, and it just spiraled that it was clearly train robbers. Because keep in mind, uh, all during the end of the 19th century, you hear Jesse James, Butch Cassidy, you yes. hear all of, and all of these people that were train robbers real train robbers were in the papers. Everybody knew of these people. So it was very plausible that it was train robbers. Over the years, there has been speculation on where the original site was of the accident. Intrigued by this story, I wanted to locate the original site and see for myself what was left. I met with hobby researcher Mike Moser, and not only did he share his extensive research with me, but he was confident that he knew where the location was and had an interesting fact about the train that crashed that day. Yeah, so I was looking into some details. Everyone knows it was a train that crashed, but um, uh, period articles or newspaper articles say that it had been displayed at an 1895 Expo in Atlanta. I thought I'd see if I can track that down. So sure. Doing some research with that as a clue, I found an L&N 10-wheeler built by the Rogers Company that was displayed in Atlanta at the Expo in 1895 looks like it had been transferred to the Birmingham Mineral Railroad, and okay. that's the engine that crashed. Oh, wow. So the million-dollar question is, do you know where the location is? I do. So that means boots on the ground. 